All right, so mom, I want to start off with giving all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashim Yabashai, Bashim Harakakadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the brothers of the four corners of the earth preaching this word and also laboring in this word in true love and sincerity. And may blessings fall upon our houses out of one third. And um, I just uh, came across this uh, this video um, of this abominable couple eating, uh, you know, multiple videos eating uh, different abominations. Okay, as you see in the screen, it says uh, a hot Cheeto octopus versus boiled octopus, um, flame of hot Cheeto fried rattlesnake uh, uh eating flame of hot cheeto octopus chow down with uh i guess it's a uh, another individual right um and this is mainly who i'm getting it's uh man this this is getting on jake period all right because this is all jake on here right and uh as the scripture says uh folly is set in great dignity right let's let's start off with that first all right, let's go to the book of uh, Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes 10, verse 6, it says, Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. You see? So, what is set in great digni dignity? What is uplifted? What is exalted? All right, folly, which is foolishness. Okay? And, uh, you know, foolishness, wickedness, okay? These type of things are set in great dignity. And, and Jake, right? Jake, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But you're Israelites, all right? According to the Bible, right? You are heavy into folly, right? You are heavy into wickedness. And you are at the forefront of pushing and exalting wickedness. Okay, with your unlawful behaviors, you see, and also when you go to the book of Jeremiah 10, verse 1, it says, What uh, hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel? Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, you see, because these heathen they don't have no standard, they don't have any guidelines, right. But you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you do. Okay? You have law, statutes, and commandments to abide by. Right? You have the word of Yahweh Shai to abide by. Right? The holy scriptures. Not the heathen. And the heathen are to learn from you. But guess what? You are learning the ways of the heathen. You see? You have a, a, adopted... The ways of the heathen Which ultimately became a snare unto you You see The ways of the heathen These these ways You have conformed to Instead of the ways of Yahweh Instead of the laws and the statutes and commandments Instead of the ways of righteousness You have turned And cleaved unto doing the, And conformed Of doing the ways of wickedness Which are the ways of the heathen Right? So, read verse 2 again. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. And this is the point. Okay? That's the point. Uh, just as, as the scripture simply saying, Learn not the way of the heathen. All right? So, going back to, as you see on the screen, you know, Jake is eating all this unlawful food. Okay? These things are unlawful to eat. You see? And, you know, Jake loves doing everything opposite to what the Lord told him to do. Right? Hey, because eating a uh, shrimp, lobster, uh, crab, right? You know, catfish, frogs and rattlesnakes, right? All them, those different creepy things that the Lord said not to, not to eat, Jake eat. All those things that's in the seas, that's in the water. Matter of fact, let's uh, let's get it in the law, okay? Let's get it in the law, cause show you we we're not just making this up, right? 
Tilakia. Oh man. Look at where I was at. Uh right, there we go. Let's go to the book of Leviticus. Eleven. Verse two. It says Speaking to the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which you shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth, right? So we were given, you know, uh, uh, you know, we were given, um, uh, we were let, we were being let known to uh, what beasts of the earth we can eat, which is, uh, clean, and beasts we are not to eat, which is unclean, right? But I want to get to the jump to the point, let's get the main thing that Jake. You know, likes to uh, dig into. Um, so verse 7, it says, And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven-footed, yet he chew up not the cud, he is unclean to you, right? And I'm, I'm using this one as the main example because this was Jake mainly like to eat. Pork chops, bacon, ribs, sausage, you know, uh, chitlins, right? Ham, right? Jake loves that pork, and Jake won't put that pork down. But pork, also known as swine in the scriptures, this animal is unclean to you. You see, this animal has a, a job, has a purpose, right? Uh, um, amongst a certain other few animals that help clean the earth or help clean the uh, the, the ecosystem. Okay, these things are unclean to you, right? And the same goes with uh, let's go right here. It says, uh, let's jump to verse 9. It says, These shall you eat of all that are in the waters, which whoever have fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall you eat. So if it has fins and scales, that you are allowed to eat. Right, and all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers, of of all that move in the waters, and of and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. You see, so if these different things, if they don't have fins and scales that's in the waters, then you ain't allowed to eat them, man. Okay, so just a few things that I mentioned, right? Shrimp, crab, lobster. Catfish, okay, mussels, clams. Hey, man, Jake ain't supposed to be eating that crap, man. You see, all those different things is unclean to Jake. But see, what what do Jake do? Jake devours these different foods, man. Right? These, these different foods are put on a pedestal, which we know who who's the cause of this, right? Esau eat them, right? He the one he he's the one that promotes these different uh. These different creatures as if they're the best things to eat, as they're like a delicacy, but they're not. Esau knows this how much Esau is a devil. Esau knows that these different things aren't <clears throat> aren't to be eaten by the Heavenly Father, man. Right? He knows this, man. You see? And he knows that uh Jake eating these things keeps us away from our power because he knows, right, that it's a sin. Esau knows that this shit is a sin That these things that Jake is eating Okay But what is he doing He's pushing it as You know uh, these things are, are the best thing are, are the best you can get Right Which really these are the worst Right These are the worst And it says Verse 11 They shall be even as an abomination unto you You shall not eat of their flesh but you shall have their carcasses and abomination. So these things are not to be eaten. You see? And this is why I mentioned, you know, uh, two uh, uh, two abominab abominations, right? Or two abominable women eating uh, stuff in their mouths full of abomination. Because you see them on the screen. Look at them. You see? You see? If you watch the video and, uh, you know, you, you, you already can tell through the spirit that this one on the left-hand side, the light-skinned ones, you can tell she's a bullfrog. 
Okay, you can tell she's a bullfrog, right? And that's that's an abomination, man. That's an abominable, a disgusting, wicked thing to the heavenly Father, man. Right? The Lord ain't dealing with woman on woman, man. The Lord ain't dealing with man on man. That shit is out, man. Okay, because the Lord made man and uh, woman. Okay, He made the the woman, right, to be the man's helpmeet, to be his pillar of rest, right. So anything outside of that order is off, man. Period. Anything outside of that order is off. All right? The Lord, Heavenly Father, made man and woman. He knew what he was doing when he created man and woman. That's it. Okay? Any, anything that's going against that and outside of that, that's that's wicked, disgusting, and it's off, man. All right? Matter of fact, because I'm on my way here into the plantation, let's, uh, let's close out with that. It's the book of Romans 1. Right? In the book of Romans 1, verse 24. It says, I'll start at verse 23. It says, and, um, Let's see. I'll start at verse 22. It says, Professing themselves to be, fool, to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible most, most high into an image made like to corruptible man and into birds and and four-footed beasts and creepy things wherefore the most high also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own own bodies between themselves who changed the truth of the most high into a lie and worship the creature slack it and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever amen for this cause, the Most High gave them up unto vile infections. Even for their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Now, common sense will tell you what's the natural use of a woman, right? To be a arrest, to be a pillar for her husband, to bear him children, to nurture the children, right? And to be, right. All right. It says, and likewise, also the man leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their burned in their lust, one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly. You see, that is unseemly when a uh, man want to lay down with another man. Right. So what happens in receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat? See, so that's an error. Okay, error meaning wrong to do the man on man. You see, that brings forth nothing but diseases, right? Doesn't bring life. Man and woman bring forth life together. Not man on man, not woman on woman, period. Common sense. Scientific fact. Okay? If you want to try to go, you even go to that route. So it says, and likewise, also the men leaving natural use of the woman burned in their lusts. One toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. You see? And even as they did not like to retain the most high in their knowledge, the most high gave them over to a, to a what? To a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness. Fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of the Most High, the spiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of the most high that they which commit such things are worthy of death right what else not only do the same but have pleasure in them that do them so hey even goes for you people that's having pleasure in these people that commit these wicked and abominable acts guess what man right you know you worthy of death man you see cuz this this shit is wicked man you know and y'all help and y'all promote this madness, okay? 
as if it's to be, right? As if it's the thing to be, but it's not. You see? But this is what happens when uh, uh, Jake has conformed to the ways of the heathen, right? But the Lord says, learn not the way of the heathen. You see? Learn not the way of the heathen. Also, you know, you know, this is uh, what happens as folly is set in great dignity. You see? A bunch of foolishness, a bunch of madness, which is being lifted up and exalted as if it's the right thing, which it's not. Okay, so that's just my take on that, you know, real quick through the spirit. I just wanted to, uh, you know, just do a quick video on it. You know, you can click on the video and play yourself and see this, 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 this disgusting uh, acts from Jake as they continue to be here comfortable in America, Babylon, and great till they be destroyed. You know, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, hey, if you don't repent, then, hey, man, you'll be destroyed here in America, Babylon, a great eating your plate, uh, uh, your table full of abominations, you see, as you are. Hey, so with that, you know, Lord, what I hope was that a fine? Till next time, I want to say shalom.